Okay, the third category that we dealt with was the Pythagorean identity. And we're going to do this or write this as Pith ID for short. And uh, I proved this for you back in Unit 1, but I'll go through a very short and brief derivation again. So the primary Pythagorean identity based on the Pythagorean theorem is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So the primary Pythagorean identity does come from the unit circle, and if we use the Pythagorean theorem, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 because our radius for the unit circle was equal to 1. So then we made the replacement for the sine um, of theta was our y, and the cosine of theta was our, whoops, was our x. So then I made the replacement here, and this was switched. So we said sine squared theta, which it doesn't really matter because of the sum, plus the cosine squared is equal to 1. So that was our primary identity. And the primary Pythagorean identity is used to derive the other two Pythagorean identities. And I went through this in Unit 1. But basically, if I were to divide by the cosine squared, we're going to use our quotient and our reciprocal identities here. So the quotient identity would give me the tangent squared plus cosine squared over cosine squared is 1 is equal to reciprocal identity is the secant squared of x or theta. And then here, if we were to divide by the sine squared, this becomes 1 plus, again, quotient identity is cotangent squared is equal to reciprocal identity cosecant squared of x. So these also were two that you do need to know, but they are uh, derivatives of the original. Okay, and we did talk about these, and I did show you the hexagon, but I will show you again on page three. So any of the versions of the Pythagorean identity can be used. However, what you need to know is that you may not take any power except for squares. So in the two previous identities, I showed you that you could use um, any variation. Here, this is only when the trig functions are squared. So common errors that are made, which means do not do this, is if you take the square root of the whole thing. This is a bad thing because that's not even a valid mathematical operation. So this would be then changed to sine plus cosine is equal to 1, and this is not good. This is bad, 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 bad. So don't do this. Okay, so this is incorrect. And then another error would be if people squared everything. This is also another error. So then sine to the fourth of x plus cosine to the fourth of x is equal to 1. This is also bad. So we're going to say that these are incorrect. So please don't do this but just to make you aware that you cannot. So, possible uses of the Pythagorean identity when the following are present is what you would do. Any of the three versions above you would use if you have sine squared and cosine squared, tangent squared and secant squared together, or cotangent squared and cosecant squared, or if you have squares of trig functions. So this will make a little bit more sense when we start going through some problems but this is why it's important to know your Pythagorean identities.